Good morning. Today we celebrate the life of Robert McRae. Um, it's a celebration on March the 10th, but because it was a Sunday, as I've said in the past, Sundays get transferred, and so this is the first uh, available day without a Saint's Day. And so we remember the first primate of all Canada um, in 1904. Robert McRae became the first primate of the Anglican Church of Canada in 1893. And as we honour his life and service, we also commemorate the formation of our church as a united and independent member in the Anglican Communion. McRae was a Scot, born and raised as a Presbyterian. From an early age, he showed great talent as a mathematician, and after studies in the University of his native Aberdeen, he went south on a scholarship to Cambridge University. It was there that he became an Anglican, granted a fellowship, then ordained priest. He seemed to be slated for the career of an academic clergyman, but in 1865, much to his surprise, he was chosen to become the second bishop of Rupert's Land. He arrived at Winnipeg in August of the same year. McRae's diocese included much of the Arctic as well as the Canadian prairies. He set himself two long-range goals. First, to nurture higher education in Manitoba, and second, to divide Rupert's Land into smaller dioceses, uh, diocesan units, which would be better able to serve Anglican settlers and carry out missionary work. One of his first acts as bishop was to call a clergy conference, which he patiently developed into a full-fledged synod. In time, as McRae's wider plans matured, this body became the basis for a provincial synod. Under his leadership, the Western synods led the way in calling for unification of the Anglican Church of Canada. This movement bore fruit in 1893 when the first general synod of our church met in Toronto. McRae was elected primate at this seminal gathering. He remained private as well, primate as well as Archbishop of Rupert's Land until his death in 1904. McRae was a tireless worker with a genius for organization. It may be no surprise that he liked to relax by solving mathematical problems. But he also possessed a generous heart and was able to work well with a wide variety of people. His vision, integrity, and practical wisdom made him one of the true founders of our church in this nation. The sentence of scripture today comes from 1 Corinthians 3. No one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. And we pray. Almighty God, you instructed the heart of Robert McRae to guide the, the Anglicans in this nation in the councils of peace and unity. Preserve us in wisdom and lead us in truth that we may build upon the one foundation, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.